I played another stick for many, many years. And um, what I didn't focus on back then, or I just didn't know about that much, is like, like what you can do with the tip and with, with like where the weight kind of is distributed. And that was actually where I then had some problems, where I was like, okay, I like the substance of, of a normal 5B stick and actually the sound in some cases, but there was room for improvement. So I realized like, oh man, there are a couple of things that actually my old stick was, was missing. And um, for a time it was okay. And after a while I was like, I don't want to miss those things. I want to have them. <laughs> The thing is, I'm a hobby woodworker. <laughs> I'm not good at it, but I enjoy it. I'm very good at injuring myself and cutting myself. I'm an expert at that. My, my great-grandfather was, uh, was building pianos and I have a couple of his old tools and, and it's just, um, I don't know, it's maybe something that's a little bit in, in our family. And, and it was also a very enjoyable part to be like, wow, I now have the chance to work with like experts in that field and um, I and it really will have a big effect on my life it will I mean this is the stuff that I this is the stuff that I love most and I and I these are the tools that I use every day there's not one day where I don't have these in my hand So it was, it was really a funny thing to, to then like take a stick that you think like, oh, okay, this is not, it's not bad, but maybe, and then really take sandpaper and just fool around with it. It's not then perfect and not balanced and blah, 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 but, but you, you then get an appreciation for what really, what small changes blew my mind. I didn't do it in like many, many, many years, uh, never in that detail, like which small, small changes to the shape of it and to the tip like really cha changed how the stick felt, completely changed how it felt. And I really got an appreciation for it and I was like, wow. I really enjoyed that process to fool around with, yeah, with that material and getting that opportunity again to kind of, yeah, get it to the next level and, in, in, and improve, hopefully, it for, for other people too, but first of all, egoistically for myself. And I think we nailed it. The main thing for me is really uh, the quality and the consistency. Almost more important, now that I have designed it, I know that it will always be that way. And that I, if I get 12, like if I get a packet of like 12 pairs, that all of them will sound the same and will like uh, have a nice even pitch. They are paired perfectly, they're straight and the quality is just good. And, and so, so now that I, that, I, that I have my stick and that I've gotten a couple of pairs, it's just incredible like how, if something makes your life easier and it's consistent and you don't have to worry about it, it's, it's great. The good thing is that the small tip gets you uh, a more drier sound almost because it doesn't set the whole ride cymbal on fire every time. Through that you also get all the articulation much better too, so you hear all the little notes with high, nice high frequencies and like that what we normally think is like the beautiful like ride cymbal sound and uh, you usually only get it with thinner stips, uh, sticks normally uh, with, um, with, with a tip like that, but it's a kind of a a Frankenstein monster in that sense that it has like a, a tip that is unusually smaller for a, for a stick that's uh, that thickness. It looks great. <laughs> I think on the surface it looks very traditional. Um, but when you look a little bit closer you, you will see that there are these slight changes that are very unusual. So uh, the smaller tip, the, the, 
the, the less material like on, 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 the, on the top, so to make it less top heavy, it's not your normal 5B. And um, the other thing is, my color is green. Like if you know the, um, the art and science of groove or uh, the language of drumming or like in a lot of my artwork, I like, I just like green. It's my favorite color. And I asked the guys at Big First to, uh, whether we can make it all green and uh, they were a little hesitant because they never did it before and, uh, and I understood. And then I said, please. <laughs> so they did it. Thank you.